Today we have a look at the Dehancer iPad app. They provided me the iPad app for free, however, I'm allowed to say whatever I want. So all the opinions are honest and my own. If you have a Lumix camera which records to an SSD and you want to edit your footage while you're traveling, then this video is for you. I will show you how you can use your SSD to edit directly on the iPad your footage and then publish it to social media. So I have the Lumix S5-2X and I recorded some vlog footage to this SSD. I plugged this SSD into my iPad and I'm going to first access the footage in DaVinci Resolve. So I open DaVinci Resolve first. Then I will import the media. So here I will choose a file of a Husky that I filmed in Japan. And then when I imported it, I will drag it into the timeline. Then we go to the color tab. So first what we do is we create one node and add them to this color input transform. As color space, we're using Panasonic VLOG. And we deselect this down here. And for the output, we use the color space timeline as input, which is DaVinci Resolve White Gamut and we use Rec 2020 and Apple Lock. This allows us to edit in Lock and Dehancer. Then we added a curve, lines are a bit stretched and you can also go here on the right and you can enable the extents so you can actually see how much you can stretch your footage. Then we go to export, export it as ProRes Photo 2 HQ and we save it. Now we download ES File Explorer and then we go into the app to copy it into the system library of the photos of the iPad so we can access it via the Dehancer app. So I copy my file here and then I move it to the systems folder which is called systems albums. Then I open Dehancer and now here in the app you have like a lot of things you can adjust. First we go to edit, set the input color space to Apple Lock. First, you can adjust the exposure compensation and temperature compensation. On the iPad app, Dehancer offers the same film emulations as on the desktop version. Let's pick this one and edit it. At the bottom, a menu bar opens. There you have the same choices as in the DaVinci Resolve Dehancer plugin. Here at Film, you can choose the actual film that you want to simulate. Then you can choose the actual developer solution for the film. With contrast boost and color boost, you can give some extra punch to your footage. With film compression, you can make the film look more analog by clipping the highlights later than a digital camera does. With expand, you can map the digital exposure to the analog one. The last stop of developing analog film is optical printing. You get a positive film for screen projection. You can choose a specific Kodak film and adjust the look a bit. At Colorhead, you can apply some toning which can be achieved with various methods like special processing modes, additional chemical treatments and more. Then we have some other effects like film grain, elation, bloom and vignette. Film breath gives you accidental change in exposure, contrast and color from frame to frame as the film is being played. Gate wave gives you the mechanical swinging when the film strip is being pulled through the projector. If we go back to presets, we can save now our changes as a separate preset. On the top right, you can choose the arrow up symbol to export your video. Then you can view the footage on the iPad. So once you're done with your settings, you can then export the footage and you can publish it on social media. That's how you do it, how you edit your footage, when you record to an SSD, you're traveling and you only have your iPad with you. See you in the next awesome video. Thank you.